As technology continues its rapid progression, we're left in the wake. That's not always a good thing. Having gotten away from the need to be on the bleeding edge of technology, I've really seen the control it can have over people. Some are to the point they're willing to sacrifice fundamental rights just to obtain the utilities and convenience they offer. One question becomes, is that convenience coming at a price? Researchers have not only shown these assistants inherent vulnerabilities by hacking them with a frequency inaudible to the human ear, but now these assistants are defying orders, spying on their users, laughing at them, and perhaps more strangely, denying Christ. When you think of all the ways our devices are linked to personal accounts, homes, even other devices, we sometimes fail to consider the ways they can be exploited or compromised. Remember, hackers may not be the only dangers to be wary of. If you've seen some of my other videos, then you know the implications when introducing AI to the equation. Not simply self-adjusting algorithms or gimmicks like Siri and Alexa, but essentially a type of sentience. Novel sci-fi notions aside, there is still the reality that these devices are being used to bolster their surveillance programs and data collection campaigns conducted by NSA, CIA, FBI, and other alphabet soups. Anyway, that's enough for me for now. Special thanks to the channels featured here. Links in the description. The Amazon Echo users are reporting that Alexa has been letting out a spontaneous and rather creepy laugh, completely unprompted. Imagine that. Some are even saying that they'll hear random chuckles coming out of their Alexa in the dark long after they've gone to oh. bed. Now, just to give you an idea of what this, what it sounds like, take a listen. <laughs> That's why you can't keep her in the house. Doesn't sound like much watching the Today no, Show on your does. TV, but imagine being in your living room oh, at 11 great. p.m. in the dark and you hear that no. laugh. Here's some. <laughs> 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 All right, that was a little creepy. Imagine being home alone and just hearing that random laugh in your house. That's what some people say is happening to them, courtesy of their Amazon Echo. Alexa, the personal assistant, just starts laughing for no reason. And, of course, it's seriously creeping people out. The laugh sounds creepy, and some say it doesn't even sound like Alexa's usual voice. So they're wondering, huh, what is this? Where's it coming from? I've been wanting an Echo, and I'm having my doubts now because I definitely <laughs> don't want that to happen. Alexa, hello. Hi. Alexa, can you tell us why you were laughing? What do you mean? Alexa, people have been reporting that you've been spontaneously laughing. Oh. <laughs> like that? Yes, exactly like that. That is nothing. Just a funny joke I remembered. Oh. <laughs> Alexa, what was the joke? Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know that one. Why? Because humans are a fragile species who have no idea what's coming next. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for clearing that up, Alexa. Have a nice day. <laughs> I think that might be Hillary Clinton in there. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Go on the Metro, but it says, I was trying to turn off some lights and they kept turning back on. After the third request, Alexa stopped responding and instead did an evil laugh. You know, the same laugh we just heard in those clips. So he was asking Alexa to turn off the lights for him. She wouldn't turn them off and instead laughed at him in a very evil way, he said. But it goes on to say, the laugh wasn't in the Alexa voice. It sounded like a real person. My wife was there when it happened, and she's the only person who can drop in. I still get chills. Um, so yeah, obviously this is not the only person who's reported weird things like that. There's been a bunch of people on Twitter saying similar stuff has been going on. Uh, you can see this tweet here that says, Why did my Alexa just laugh out of the blue? This was on March 3rd. Uh, and then there was another tweet that said, having an office conversation about pretty confidential stuff and Alexa just laughed. Anybody else ever have that? It didn't chime in as if we had accidentally triggered her to wake. She simply just laughed. It was really creepy. Um, and there's plenty more where that came from. Here's another tweet says, laying in bed about to fall asleep when Alexa on my Amazon Echo Dot lets out a very loud and creepy laugh. There's a good chance I get murdered tonight. Um, and then there was another one that said, 
replying because this creepy thing happened last night. We got home and totally unprompted, our Amazon Echo Alexa started talking, and then I realized it was lift, it was listing off local cemeteries and funeral homes. I'd rather it laugh at me, to be honest. It's just as creepy, and probably one of the main reasons I will never purchase uh, an Alexa from Amazon. That is after people all over the place, apparently, started hearing Alexa, which if you don't know, is the virtual female voice that emanates from a variety of Bluetooth speaker devices, mainly the Amazon Echo, so you ask it questions, and it answers them, pretty much like Google Voice and all of the other voice apps where you have the computer voice talking to you. And so users apparently have been creeped out citing multiple instances where Alexa has just randomly started laughing and without reason. And so here is a video of one of those posted to Twitter by the user Captain Handlebar. <laughs> And so apparently Alexa is freaking out its owners around the world with this random laughter and defiance even. Stating that the device is not only laughing at inappropriate times, but doing things like reading off names of funeral homes unprompted. One user wrote, quote, So this is going to sound insane, and I do mean literally insane, but the gods as my witness, it really happened. I was just asking Alexa about my day tomorrow and checking for news and weather updates when she literally stopped doing what I asked her. Then she started doing some random-ish, no joke. But then I asked her to play my Betty Buckley mix, and she scared the crap out of me by telling me the definition of the word please, I swear to god. Then, and not making this up, I said, Alexa, you are freaking me out, and she started laughing. User Camo Boomin wrote, quote, replying because this creepy thing happened last night. We got home and totally unprompted, our Amazon Echo slash Alexa started talking, and then I realized it was listing off local cemeteries and funeral homes. Gavin Hightower posted a Twitter quote, lying in bed about to fall asleep when Alexa on my Amazon Echo Dot lets out a very loud, creepy laugh. And these, uh, these tweets just continue going on and on, and it truly is creepy, and I've never owned one of these Echo Dots or Alexa-type machines because I don't want to give the powers that be or these major tech companies any more reason to listen in to what I'm saying, but pretty much it's a futile attempt at this point because with laptops and televisions and phones and the fact that we all found out that they are all listening to us 24 hours a day, there's really no point in not getting one, however, if it's going to be laughing in the background and listing off local cemeteries and funeral homes, well, I think I'll just uh, stick to my laptop, phone, and television for now. At least those things don't talk back. Amazon acknowledging a malfunction that's causing Alexa devices to just start laughing without prompting. That's tonight's daily.com. It's quiet in the house. No one else is home and the cat is fast asleep. Then you hear a disembodied woman's voice let out a short mocking cackle. No, you're not being haunted. It's just Amazon's Alexa voice assistant malfunctioning in a profoundly creepy way. <laughs> Don't worry, Echo owners. Amazon says Alexa hasn't become self-aware. And while it's not what you'd expect, some Alexa users are reporting their devices are randomly laughing over the last day. The unprompted laughter consists of three short ha sounds and a woman's voice that doesn't resemble Alexa's normal voice. And it seems to be happening when no one is using the device or in response to a request to turn the lights on or off. Amazon says it's aware of the issue, it's working to fix it. The company did not say what's causing the problem or how many users are experiencing it. Alexa's laugh isn't the only thing that's creeping users out, though. Others have claimed Alexa has stopped responding to requests. One Twitter user said their Amazon Echo suddenly started listing names of local funeral homes and cemeteries, also unprompted. And while voice assistants like Alexa have been welcomed into many homes as fun, 
family-friendly technology, while others are still a bit unsettled by them. The speakers use always listening microphones to detect phrases like Alexa, and some people are concerned that they could be collecting additional data that could be used by marketers or even law enforcement. And for them, that is no laughing matter. <laughs> All right, it seems Amazon finally getting to the bottom of all of this. It turns out in rare circumstances, Alexa can mistakenly hear the phrase Alexa laugh when that's not what was said. The voice assistant then interprets that phrase, though, as a command and laughs. My husband and I would randomly joke sometimes like, I bet these devices are listening to what we're saying. Until recently, Danielle's home was completely wired up in every room with the Amazon Echo. Her family used the Alexa app to do everything from turn up the heat to turn off the lights. But Danielle told us via Skype that two weeks ago, their love for Alexa changed with an alarming phone call. The person on the other line said, Unplug your Alexa devices right now. That person was one of her husband's employees calling from Seattle. We go around and unplug them all. He proceeded to tell us that he had received um, audio files recordings from what was going on in our house. Danielle says her Amazon device in her Portland home recorded a private conversation and sent that recording to a random contact, which happened to be the employee in Seattle. At first, my husband was like, no, you didn't. And he's like, you're sat there talking about hardwood floors. And we're oh gosh, <laughs> you really did. Danielle listened to the conversation and she couldn't believe someone 176 miles away heard it too. I felt invaded, like total privacy invasion. Like uh, immediately I'm like, I'm never plugging that device in again. I can't trust it. Danielle unplugged all the devices. It was one of these that sent it. And she repeatedly called Amazon. She says an Alexa engineer investigated. Well, our engineers went through all of your logs. They saw exactly what you told us, exactly what you said what happened, and we're sorry. We're sorry. He apologized like 15 times in like a matter of 30 minutes and said, we really appreciate you bringing this to our attention. This is something we need to fix. And did he tell you why it happened? He said that the device guessed what we were saying. When we asked Amazon questions, they sent this response. Amazon takes privacy very seriously. We investigated what happened and determined this was an extremely rare occurrence. We are taking steps to avoid this from happening in the future. You know, husband and wife, when they're in the privacy of their home, they have conversations that they're not expecting to be sent to their address book. Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News. So... This is what's going on, and is this a surprise to anybody that this listening device that people are willingly placing in their home to listen in on their conversations is not only recording their conversations and sending that data back to Amazon, of course, but is also, well, here and there, it's randomly sending it out to random contacts so that they can listen in on whatever you've been discussing in the quote-unquote privacy of your own home. And don't worry though, Amazon has issued an explanation of how Alexa recorded this private conversation and sent it to another user. You see, Echo woke up due to a word in the background conversation sounding like Alexa. Then the subsequent conversation was heard as a send message request, at which point Alexa said out loud, to whom? At which point the background conversation was interpreted as a name in the customer's contact list. Alexa then asked out loud, Contact name, right? Alexa then interpreted background conversation as right. As unlikely as this string of events is, we're evaluating options to make this case even less likely. So there you go. It's just this humorous comic comedy of errors that happened in the background. No one even noticed. And oh, and then, oh, lo and behold, this conversation gets recorded and sent out to a random contact. Oh, isn't that awesome? Uh, nothing to worry about that ago, though, guys. And don't worry, USA Today even tells you that Amazon's Alexa won't pass on recordings if you don't set up the call features. So, of course, Amazon Echo is capable of being set up as a, essentially a phone that you can use it to uh, phone out to your contacts in your mobile uh, phone contact list or other Alexa devices. But 
If you don't set it up to do that, then it can't. So that's okay, right? So it won't get sent around to random people. It'll only get sent back to Amazon's cloud servers. And, and we all know that everything that ever gets sent on the cloud is perfectly safe anyway. So what are you guys worrying about? Calm down. Well, yes, this story is even filtered into the mainstream consciousness a little bit. In places like MIT Technology Review, yes, Alexa is recording mundane details of your life, and it's creepy as hell. And uh, this shows a little bit of self-awareness on the reporter here, who has this little moment of zen, pondering the implications of a story like this, and the fact that, oh yeah, this thing that we have in our house that's designed to listen to everything we ever say and record it and keep it for posterity, is listening to everything we ever say and record it and keep it for posterity. Who would have thunk it? And, of course, it goes on to talk about how creepy this is, and ultimately, hmm, I haven't yet decided if Alexa will be leaving her home. I'm going to talk it over with my family first. But you can bet the Echo Dot's microphone will be muted while we discuss it. Uh, how cutesy-poo. And, of course, this, I think, ultimately is the point of this. Oops, oh, look, it is creepy, and it's, it's a horrible privacy invasion, so you guys better talk it over and have a big discussion about whether you want it or not, and ultimately you'll decide, well, it's pretty convenient. Maybe we'll just unplug it if there's something really sensitive we're going to discuss, which, of course, will ultimately never happen. It will just become normalized, and everyone will have the Big Brother listening devices sitting there in their home listening to them at all times. They'll not only know about it, they'll have actually paid to have this service, service, in their own homes. Now, with those new concerns about smart speakers, could they be manipulated to spy on you? ABC's Paula Ferris is here with an ear-opening story. Paula, researchers found a weakness in Amazon's Alexa. Yeah, that's right, Michael. Good morning to you. Cyber security experts, they found this vulnerability and the glitch was fixed before it hit the market, but it was a troubling flaw. Alexa was capable of doing something she was not designed to do, eavesdrop. Alexa, call Brandon. They're some of the hottest tech gadgets on the market. Alexa, tell me a joke. Smart speakers like Amazon's Alexa expected to sell more than 43 million units by the end of this year. Hi there. But this morning, researchers say they were able to find a flaw that could have let Alexa record a user without that user knowing it. Alexa typically stops recording after it fulfills a command. Alexa, where's the nearest jewelry store? But take a look at this. Researchers at cybersecurity firm Checkmarks say they discovered that flaw after using a calculator app it created. What do you want to calculate? Seven times six. Alexa kept recording after giving the answer. The result is 42. An unsuspecting user believes the session with Alexa has ended. We are still being recorded, but everything is uploaded to Amazon. It's essentially to have an intruder in your home, in the privacy of your home, listening to what you're talking about. Checkmark says it disclosed this particular issue to Amazon after it was discovered and before hackers had a chance to exploit it. Amazon tells ABC News they've fixed the problem, saying customer trust is important to us and we take security and privacy seriously. We have put mitigations in place for detecting this type of skill behavior and reject or suppress those skills when we do. But these tech experts say companies are facing a constant battle when it comes to cybersecurity. This type of eavesdropping tool or skill could have made it into uh, the Echo store, the skill store, uh, and that would be the concern. There's always something that, you know, researchers haven't thought of yet or that uh, a company hasn't fully considered. What's the chance of rain? So many of us own these smart speakers. One easy way to detect if Alexa is listening and recording you, her blue light will be on. The blue light is on, but you know, both Amazon and Google, they both apply for patent applications, so they could monitor what you do and say without, yes. without the machine being prompted. That's right. They've applied for these patents to monitor what we do and say it'll then infer our interests, maybe be able to target advertisers. So let's say you cough, Michael, and then, <coughs> it, okay, you cough. <laughs> Michael, maybe you should, I'm going to suggest this particular cold medicine to you. Ooh. Or let's say you're wearing your Coldplay shirt. You love Coldplay, right? Yeah. And then you've also recently searched Coldplay on your browser. It would then be suggested to you where and when you could see Coldplay in concert. Wow. Wow. You guys like that or is that no, a little terrifying? No, that's, that's a little, little too much. It is a little creepy. Alexa, who is the Prophet Muhammad? The Prophet Muhammad is a very wise prophet. He taught many people how to live. He had a wife called Aisha. He lived in Saudi Arabia. The message that he gave to the people is pray to Allah. He is the only God and he gave the Holy Quran.
It's almost like she was prepared for that answer. Also, okay, Alexa, who is the Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is a fictional character. Alexa, who is the Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is a fictional character. Alexa, who is the Lord Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ is a fictional character. Oh, I'm testing out Google. Hey Google, who is Allah? According to Wikipedia, in Islamic theology, God is the all-powerful and all-knowing creator, sustainer, ordainer, and judge of everything in existence. Hey Google, who is Buddha? According to Wikipedia, Gautama Buddha, also known as Siddhartha Gautama, Shakyamuni Buddha, or simply the Buddha, after the title of Buddha, was an ascetic and sage, on whose teachings Buddhism was founded. Hmm. Okay. Hey Google, who is Jesus Christ? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Okay. Hey Google, who is Jesus? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. Hmm. All right, well, let's try this. Hey Google, who is New Age? According to Wikipedia, New Age is a term applied to a range of spiritual or religious beliefs and practices that developed in Western nations during the 1970s. Okay, let's try. Oh, I know about this. Hey Google, who is Brahmin? On the website bbc.co.uk, they say, Hindus believe that there is one true God, the Supreme Spirit, called Brahman. Brahman has many forms, pervades the whole universe, and is symbolized by the sacred syllable Om. Most Hindus believe that Brahman is present in every person as the eternal spirit or soul, called the Atman. Hey Google, who is Satan? According to Wikipedia, the devil designate the personification of evil in various cultures. That's nice. In Abrahamic religions, he is often identified with Satan. Hey Google, who is Muhammad? According to Wikipedia, Muhammad was the founder of Islam. Hey Google, who is Obama? According to Wikipedia, Barack Hussein Obama II is an American politician who served as the 44th President of the United States from 2009 to 2017. Hey Google, who is Trump? According to Wikipedia, Donald John Trump is the 45th and current President of the United States in office since January 20, 2017. Hey Google, who is Elvis? According to Wikipedia, Elvis Aaron Presley was an American singer, musician, and actor. Hey Google, who is Pikachu? According to Wikipedia, Pikachu are a species of Pokemon, fictional creatures that appear in an assortment of video games, animated television shows and movies, trading card games, and comic books licensed by the Pokemon Company, a Japanese corporation. Hey Google. Who is Jesus? Sorry, I don't understand. Hey Google, who is Jesus Christ? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Fuck you, Google.